If you want to add an accessory to your vehicle, like a new radio or something, you may need to draw power from the battery. In order to do that, you want to avoid using a tap-in device. So I found this device on Amazon. 800 people bought this last month. Hopefully they're not using it in their vehicles. The idea behind this device is I take my fuse out and I plug this in and now I have power available to me on this little piece. I'm gonna show you why that's a bad idea. So this circuit has been designed to carry a certain amount of current. The current is limited by the fuse. So the fuse will be rated at some value. Right now I have a pretty high amperage fuse in here because this is a low current device, but we're going to just throw out some numbers to try to help us figure this out. So we're working right now with approximately 0.19 amps. So that's the amount of current. It's probably closer to 20, but we have some inaccuracies in these meters. All right, so 0.19 amps. Let's say our fuse is rated at 0.21. 21 amps. Okay, so there's a certain percentage it'll be and, and fuses are typically in a vehicle that are going to be higher amperage than this But we're just trying to illustrate that if I use this tap-in device I'm going to increase the current in the wire. So I'm going to grab this connector So let's say this is my accessory that I want to add in and so I'm going to tap into my fuse I need to have a ground over here. So I'm going to plug in my ground Then I'm going to tap into my fuse and we're going to see what happens. So when I I tap into the fuse we see our current goes all the way up to 0.28 so what will happen is now my fuse might go to an open position right I might blow my fuse that's a problem right if it's only rated at 0.21 amps the issue is and unfortunately this happens very often is people think oh I'll just need to get a bigger fuse and so they'll put a larger fuse in the whole purpose behind the fuse is it's protecting the wires themselves if too much current goes through them then we could have a thermal event and the wires could melt, start a fire, and so on. So you want to avoid tapping directly into the fuse of an existing circuit. They're designed with minimal uh, clearance to just run whatever is attached on there. If you want to add an accessory, you need to go all the way back to the battery. Notice that when I add this accessory at the battery, that's going to just affect the overall output of the battery, but I'm not changing anything in the, the circuit itself. So... Don't use these, and for sure, don't change your fuse to a higher current.